In March of 1942, nearly 60% of Americans supported the forced removal and imprisonment of 120,000 other fellow citizens. This is the story of Japanese American incarceration. And this is World War II in two. Many along the West Coast had long held prejudiced beliefs of Japanese migrants who came to the U.S. during the early 20th century. But the 1941 attack on Pearl Harbor led to wartime hysteria that increased anti-Japanese sentiment across the country. In early 1942, Army Lieutenant General John L. DeWitt relied on faulty intelligence to argue that both foreign and American-born persons of Japanese descent living along the Pacific coast were more loyal to Japan than the United States, simply because of their race. There were no confirmed reports that Japanese American communities were coordinating with Japan on another attack. General DeWitt even said that because there was no evidence that Japanese Americans were a threat, this meant that they were succeeding in operating a secret spy ring. On February 19, 1942, President Roosevelt, pressured by both West Coast politicians and the Army, signed Executive Order 9066. This gave DeWitt the power to decide which groups of people were most dangerous and remove them in the name of, quote, military necessity. DeWitt and his assistant, Colonel Carl Bendenson, focused on mass removing Japanese Americans as opposed to German and Italian Americans. And according to a Gallup poll from March, more than half of Americans who responded agreed with the decision. Without an appeal process, in the spring of 1942, more than 120,000 Japanese Americans, 80% of them U.S. citizens, boarded buses and trains under armed guard to begin their forced journey to one of 10 camps from California to Arkansas. According to Army policy, anyone who had 1 16th of, quote, drop of Japanese blood was removed and detained. The government forced Japanese Americans to abandon their lives and spend their days behind barbed wire and crowded into barracks. They could only bring what they could carry with them and left behind businesses, homes, farms, and even their family pets. Camp administrators began to release Japanese Americans for work and military service in 1943, including young men who would join the ranks of the famed all-Japanese American 442nd Regimental Combat Team. Though the Army lifted orders excluding Japanese Americans from the West Coast in 1944, it wasn't until 1988 when President Ronald Reagan issued a formal apology for this chapter in American history. <laughs>